We're here at TV Lines Comic Con Studio, presented by ZTE with Kristen Bell. Welcome. Thank you. The Good Place. I liked it so much. I thought it was so charming. I feel like it has so much potential. Why this show? Why now? First of all, it's very important for me to have your blessing because I very much respect your opinion, and I know a lot of other people do too. I was approached by Mike Schur, the creator who created Parks and Rec and Brooklyn Nine-Nine and is a very funny writer, about a year ago and said, I haven't fully flushed this concept out, but here's what it is. Girl accidentally gets into the good place, heaven, which is what we call the good place. And the way he describes uh, the world is that we are, unbeknownst to us, playing this game here on Earth, and somebody is tallying our points of positive or negative. And if you have an extensive amount of positive points, you go to the good place. Negative, the bad place. And the concept was so strange, but his pedigree is so exemplary. I knew it was going to be funny. And it was going to combine my two favorite topics, comedy and exploring what it means to be a good person. So the world is pretty cool because my character accidentally gets into the good place and she's a jerk. She's just lived a very selfish lifestyle. She's not malicious. She just likes being selfish. It's more comfortable for her. And she, uh, the neighborhood realizes there's a glitch and they're trying to discover what the glitch is, and she knows it's her. So she is on a quest to figure out how to become more ethical, how to be a good person, why good people are good people, in order to earn her place and stay. And then you throw Ted Danson in the mix. Ugh, and everything gets better. Now, did you know he was on board when you first signed on? No, but in my first meeting with Mike, he said, here's who I envision for the architect of the neighborhood, which is like the sort of middle management of up there. Mm -hmm. I want Ted Danson. And I lost my breath because I worked with Ted about, I guess, seven years ago on a movie and I just adore him so much. And we have since gone on double dates with him and his wife and me and my husband. And I just, they're just exceptional people. And the idea of spending every day with him for hopefully a long number of years is my idea of the good place. Last year, Rob Thomas was here. He floated the idea of Veronica Mars being doing a limited series Gilmore Girls type thing versus a feature film. Yeah. Any more discussion about that? Yes. Well, yes. And you know what? I want to be upfront because that's how we are with our fans. We're not, I mean, we're not going to be clandestine and try to like keep it from everybody. Rob and I definitely want to make more of Veronica Mars. There are a variety of variables like my TV contract, his TV contract, what platforms will allow us to do something um, truncated like six episodes or eight episodes yeah. that won't demand a full 22. So there's a variety of things that we have to consider, but we are definitely striving to do it again. And I I think that the idea that's bouncing around right now is some sort of mini series that we can put on a platform that would have us. Um, and obviously if the audience still wants it, because Rob and I definitely want to do it. The movie is so good. Like I watched it again recently. It It's really well done. Like that could have been, it could have really not been good, but it yeah. really worked. Well, he, you know, he created that world. He knows it better than anyone. He has an infinite amount of scenarios in his head. It's just, it's rife to be mined. It's just, we want to make sure that the audience wants it, because um, that's what fuels us. And this time around, we're not going to ask the audience to pony up for anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are incredibly appreciative that that happened. But I think the most respectful thing to do this time is say, guess what? all networks and internet platforms, we've proven our worth. Let's not ask them to pre-sell all their tickets. Let's just give them something that you know they're hungry for.